Athens, Greece. It's a beautiful sunrise. All right, so you almost wouldn't believe what just happened to me. Holy shit. So, <clears throat> of course, stuff like this happens when you travel, but this just shouldn't have happened. So I get on the plane. You know what, we'll, st we'll start it off from the Uber uh, that I got from um, Moven Pick Hotel at the Egypt Pro to the, um, the airport in Egypt. And that was an absolute nightmare. Pretty much what happened is when I booked the Uber, I booked the Uber for the Sphinx Airport and not the Cairo International Airport. Well, anyway, I get in this vehicle uh, with this kid. He speaks no English. He's driving towards the Sphinx Airport and can't figure it out. And uh, and well, he's driving towards the Sphinx Airport Airport, and I'm like, dude, you're going the wrong way. Like, because I, I looked it up on my GPS, you know, the Cairo one, and he's the sphinx one's like 20 minutes away and the Cairo one's like an hour so there, obviously there was a huge difference in time and i'm trying to tell him like no no you need to go this way he's like no, no you need to go this way we're speaking to each other they don't we don't understand each other and he's like starting to yell and then he's like stopping on the side of the road trying to like take uh talk to other people like other locals and stuff we're driving down back roads it was like getting freaky i was like and then i got like kind of like angry at him and i was like you know what you're, this like I typed in the address to the Cairo airport. I said, you're going to drive me here right now. I think again, this is like two in the morning too. So it's like really sketchy. We're in like, like crazy like country. I don't know where we are. I have no idea. And uh, so I'm like, yo, you're going to drive right here. I, I, I gave him a hundred dollar bill. I was like, you're going to take me to this place. I don't care. Cause there's obviously a huge difference in amount of money, like to go to the Sphinx airport and then the Cairo one. And I was like, I gave him a hundred dollar bill. I said, you're going to drive me here right now. You're not talk, stopping, talking to anybody, just taking me there. So anyway, long story sh short, we got we, we got to the airport. Uh, all was fine. Then I get on the airplane. Uh, we land here in Ath. Well, I land here in Athens, and um, there was uh, an old gentleman that uh, needed like oxygen and needed an emergency. So as soon as we landed, there was ambulances that came flying in, and I was like super distracted already. Um, grabbed my bags, you know, and I, I exited off the airport and then got onto, you know, exited off of the airplane, not the airport, got onto a shuttle bus and went to get onto my, get to my connection. Well, what, what do you know? I get to the passport boarding, like control, like the first stop to getting onto the connection. And what do I not have? My satchel. Yeah, my freaking satchel. My satchel that has all my money, my visa, my passport, my boarding pass, everything. I left it in my seat in the front of the seat. Oh my God, I'm losing my mind. I was like, I've never been broken by travel before. I'm always like, it is what it is. But, oh my God, I was broken. I was like, I'm screwed. I'm absolutely screwed. I have no money. I have no passport. I'm on no side of like, I'm not on the side to board or nothing. Like they're not gonna let me go anywhere. I couldn't believe it. So I went right away, I went to the um, security there. And I was like, hey, look, like, you gotta remember, I, I took a, a shuttle from the plane to somewhere else in the airport. So I'm not even like, I can't even just go like wave to the, to the airplane and say, yo, like I need to get back on there and get my stuff. There's not, that was not a thing. So anyways, as you can see, I have it. I got it. Somehow, some pharma, some, some, you know, what? Is, I don't know what to say. Anyways, I got it. I uh, I went right to the security person. She ends up calling up somebody, 
and then uh, pretty much uh, she called somebody and she's like, hey, okay, you're gonna go uh, forward a little bit, you're gonna go to the police. So I go s talk to the police, I sat with the police for a bit, the police made a couple calls, what do you know? 20 minutes later, the guy arrives with the bag. I'm like, holy, I couldn't believe it, man. So the guy's like, you know, this is what's in the bag, you know, the X amount of money, this and this and this. I'm like, yeah, that's my bag. Um, you know, gave the guy $100. I was like, that's gonna be some good karma. The $100 doesn't matter. Like the fact of the matter is that I was gonna be absolutely screwed to get to Prague. So right now I'm in the middle of the connection. I'm through, I'm ready to board um, Prague in about an hour. I gotta get some food in me. Um, I've got no food left, so I'm sweating like crazy. And that was really stressful. Um, I guess the only thing left to say is, say it for me. It is what it is. <laughs> Shit. Oh my gosh, what a story, man. The Traveling Chronicles of Grimy Worldwide continues. Wow. I just can't wait. You know, when, when, th when things like this happen, like for instance, like how crazy our travel was from Reno to Dubai, and then from Dubai to Egypt, and you know, coming on top and winning, like it just all becomes so much more worth it. Like, not worth it. Not worth it, but just like, you know, rewarding when you're like all, all these things you went through and then you, you win, you know, you're just like, wow, we did that. So, you know what? I'm just going to uh, pray that this is uh, one of those moments and uh, that we, 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 we take that W here in Prague. Let's go. Get some food, man. I need a drink. Like, I'm like, I'm like in the duty free. I'm like, I think I need a shot of vodka or something after that. Straight up. Muffin pumps. I haven't had a muffin pump in forever. All right, it's Thursday at like 10 a.m. I think. We're still no carbs. Show Saturday. Here's my uh, my meal on the plane from Athens to. Uh, oh my God, Athens to Prague, guys! You wouldn't believe what's going on with happened to me right now. Like what's happening right now. I'm gonna explain to you after, you know, as long as everything goes through and I'm okay, but this has been the biggest shit show of traveling I've ever had in my life. Questioning all international travel, oh my god. Some white fish there, chicken. This is what I got left for food. All right, so we are here in Prague. Finally arrived, got picked up here by this beauty. What's your name? Your name? Prague. Prague, okay. Name Prague. <laughs> uh, no Ch English, Chesky, no English. Chesky Praha. Chesky Braha. 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 Okay, awesome. <laughs> All right. Prague. Okay. It's a little chill to it. It's nice when I came off the plane. Like, look at this. Man. Welcome to Prague. Thank Welcome you, to Prague for show. Thank you, man. Welcome 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 to
I'm the shot if you're the tall guy, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you remember from the Bucharest 2018? How tall are you? Uh, Look at I'm this the, guy way up there. I'm the tallest in PC tallest, classic physique. Tallest bodybuilder in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> even taller than a Jamie Joel. Yes, yeah, for yeah, sure yeah, you yeah. are, yeah. <laughs> we'll be competing in classic physics. So yeah, 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 awesome. Yeah. Well, good luck, brother. Yeah, you got this. All right, so we're getting to the gym for the first workout. It's gonna be good. This is a real dungeon gym, man. Oh my god.